Contamination sources. Source of contamination. New components, new fluids, new pieces of equipment. All those can have some built-in contamination. When we build an engine, a system, a machine, we try to ensure that we have the best possible contamination control in the facilities. But even then, there's small particles that can be built in. What we want to do is eliminate those as quickly as possible. That's why we do new filters, flush the system to ensure you're getting the cleanest system that we could possibly deliver when you receive your piece of equipment. Wear. As an engine runs or equipment runs, you'll get wear. That's part of the actual operation of that engine or piece of equipment. But as those components wear out, you want to take those materials, those contaminants, whether it's from rods of machine, piston rings getting somewhere, trap those contaminants and hold them in the filter. That leads to no additional damage coming through from the systems from those components wearing. Also the big one is service and maintenance. Every time one of these is, machines is opened up or engines open up, you have the possibility of introducing contamination. That's why when you do a repair or a process, you want to ensure put new filters, new fluid in the piece of equipment, the engine, to ensure that it gets as cleaned out as quickly as possible. That way you still get the best owning and operating costs that you can get. When we talk about contamination, we always talk about what you can see with the naked eye and what you can't see. So when we talk about what you can see with the naked eye, we talk about a micron. As we talk about this micron, it's basically a size of particle. It's a measurement. When we say 40 micron and larger, that you can see visually, that is weld splatter, paint, contamination, that if you look at it without magnification, you can see. What the real cause of most damage in these pieces of equipment or engine is, is that particles you cannot see, the smaller than 40 micron. These are the wear metals, the wear components, the wear pieces that are slowly dropping off contaminants into the fluid, which need to be trapped in the filters, to again, to get that best owning operating cost. When it comes to a lot of machines, we always talk about silica, coal, you know, products that are byproducts of what the actual machine is mining or working in. Same thing with the FG Wilson generator. It's products of what is surrounding can get into that, cause damage, wear it faster, and that does not get you the best value that you can possibly get. So as we talk about this, we're talking about this small particle contamination. You know, you heard me mention earlier, we talk about 40 micron and larger is what you can see visually. Well, if you think about it, a human hair is 80 micron in size. So 40 micron is a cutoff, 80 micron is a single human hair. That is very, very small contaminant, but that's actually on the large size. When we talk about big particles of contamination, we're talking 15 micron as a large particle. A lot of the fuel systems now are sub four micron, we're talking about two micron for a particle that can damage a fuel system. So as we talk about that, oil film in a bearing is one micron. Two micron can cause wear on the injectors, wear out those poppet valves. Now you don't get your efficiency of your burn, of your fuel burn and you're not getting the efficiency out of the engine. So in time, it's just causing your cost to increase because you're not getting the 100% efficiency that you're coming to expect. So when we talk about this, we're talking about lubricant at an ISO rating. So when we talk about an ISO 2118, we're talking about 630 pounds per year 
or 300 kilograms per year of dirt and contamination going through a system. That much can do a lot of damage very quickly and you have a loss of value because you're not getting that full capability of what you expect out of your piece of equipment. Now, when we talk about good contamination control and the effects, we're talking about 20 pounds per year or nine kilograms per year of contamination and dirt to go through a system. We talk about that as ISO 1613. That is a clean system. That is what the filters and the fluids are designed to do is to keep the system as clean as possible. When we develop the filters, we're developing it as a system in combination with the engine, the power generator. So as we develop, we go from beginning to end to develop that filter to work the best it possibly can with that piece of equipment or engine. So as we go through and design, we look at what is the capability that filter needs to have for that specific engine? How do we best control the contaminants? And how do we keep the best owning and operating costs for the customer?